today I am at Camp Hatter's Campground, which is in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And I'm actually at the campground right now. It looks like I'm walking towards the beach and that's because I am. And this is the number one reason for wanting to be here is because it is right there on the beach, it has direct beach access. You flip the camera around and this is the overview of the entire park. During this video, we are going to explore the entire campground to show you exactly what you can expect. I'm going to show you how much I paid and exactly all the things that Camp Hatters has to offer. One of the things I love about going there is these wonderful views. You're going to drive through all of this stuff on the way there to Camp Hatters and it gets you in that beach feel. It gets your head in the right space and you get into that vacation mode. Okay, I'm kind of anxious to get there and anxious to talk to you about what Camp Hatters is all about. And this is it right here over to your left. We're going to turn into the campground. And the first thing you need to know about this campground is that it is large. There are over 400 padded campsites. And one of, one of the other things I like about this campsite is that it has a lot of recreational things for you to do. So it's a large campsite, but also has a lot to offer and the area has a lot to offer. So um, we're gonna get into it. And this is kind of what it looks like as you're driving down one of the roadways on the Camp Hatters. It's broken up into these little sections. And um, this is kind of what it looks like. And as you can see, they're mostly campers uh, that are parked and uh, it's pretty tight quarters. Everything is relatively close together. So if, you're, if you don't really like that, if you like to space things out, there are other videos that I've made about other campgrounds within the area and they have different amenities. And if you don't like being so close one of these videos may work for you but this is what it looks like as you drive through the park and this is the view you get of the dunes and right behind that dunes is the beach and we're gonna head there right now I like this little pavilion area because it gives you an area to organize your stuff before you go to the beach and then to kind of regroup once you get back. And it's also good to sit there and have dinner so you can you can hear the, the waves in the background and it gives you that nice, you know, ocean beach feel. This is what it looks like as you walk across one of two beach access points that lead out from Camp Pavilion. And as you can see, the beach is pretty nice. It's a really nice beach, clean. Um, the waves are not too strong, the current's not too strong, there's not a lot of people who are fishing over here. So my kids, I felt comfortable with them being in the water. And also, if I'm back at my campsite, I'm not too far away from them if they're at the beach. One of the things I liked was that the beach was close enough where it wasn't a big deal to go. The, you know, you didn't have to cross a lot of roads. It wasn't dangerous to get there and it didn't take a long time. And even if you had a lot of stuff, you didn't have to make too many trips or if you didn't have to make a lot of trips, it wasn't like the end of the world. So let's take a look at the bathhouse. The thing I have to say about this bathhouse, and I put the sparkles here and the stars for a reason, is because it is so extremely clean. I don't know what they did to this bathhouse or how often they clean it, but every one that I used, it was immaculate. Not only was it super clean, but it smelled fresh um, and it wasn't crowded. They did a phenomenal job with these and they have them scattered throughout the, the uh, you know, the park. I think it's a total of 50 acres. So there's about a total of maybe four or five bath houses, but they were all in immaculate condition. This is one of the few campgrounds in the area that have actually black and gray water hookups so that if you, you didn't want to go to the bath house and you want for the convenience of being able to use it within your own uh, trailer you can just hook it up and no problems there so this is one of the other benefits of staying at this campground now as you can see there's a whole lot of you know four-wheel vehicles and trailers and this is my big tip to you if you can avoid coming there on the weekends friday saturdays and sundays do so because trying to get in this place during that time is very chaotic um, it's just a whole lot of movement going on and uh, not the best time and i just put that clip there so you can see the amount of traffic that's on the roadways if you try to get in it's like standstill traffic just avoid it
A lot of people come to, on vacation to get away from technology. Others come to really enjoy. If you're one of those second ladder people who really need Wi-Fi in order to have a good time, make sure you have your own stuff. Now, RV camping is not the only town of camping they do here. They do have a few tent sites which rent from anywhere from $40 to $100 per night depending on the season. And they have these park models. And in my opinion, they're extraordinarily expensive, but it gives you it does give you the option if you're coming with someone who doesn't necessarily like RV camping and want a park model and sleep on, on a bed. The second best reason for being here is the recreation area. They do a good job of making sure that people are using the facilities and people are, are having a good time and they have organized activities and just as a kind of overview of what it looks like in the evening doing you know the recreation time uh, they have tennis courts and a few other things um, that really uh, cater to families and uh, people who are just trying to have fun and have a good time uh, nothing wild nothing crazy just good clean fun the thing I did not like about the recreation area was that it was next to a busy roadway and if the ball went out into the roadway and the kid went after it, you can see a tragedy happening right there. Another thing I want to highlight is that they have um, this dog park and you can see it right there. It's fairly large and they use it quite a bit, especially in the morning time. Um, quite empty right now, but there are a lot of people that I saw there who had pets and uh so if you have your a pet definitely bring it it's worth it um we did and we had a phenomenal time so definitely want to highlight that part of the uh the experience on my youtube channel i did several videos on other campgrounds in the area one of the things that made Camp Hatter stand out from the rest is that it had a lot of recreational things to do, both outside as well as indoor recreation. And one of the big benefits of Camp Hatter is that some of the other places did not have was that it had an indoor pool. This is what the uh, registration office looks like. And I mean, we're gonna go to the indoor and outdoor pool. There are shops that are close by, but I like the fact that it had a miniature 7-Eleven with 7-Eleven prices right there on site. Uh, the prices are a little bit elevated, but they're not super unreasonable. I found that the staff there was super helpful in helping me understand not only what to explore at Camp Hatters, but also in the general area. This right here is the indoor swim pool. In a minute, we're gonna swing outside and take a look at the outdoor pool. That right there is the jacuzzi. I found the outdoor swimming pool to be nice. The only two things I did not like was that it got a little bit full and it's right next to the roadway. So there was a lot of road traffic. This is the indoor recreation center. The big plus about this is that it is air conditioned. So if you wanna get out of the heat and you just get a break, this is wonderful. It also has a little mini kitchen area. Now the decor definitely throwback you know, from the 80s and 90s, but it's a nice spot. Camp Hatters, they rent bicycles. However, these golf carts, if you if you have the ability to bring them, absolutely bring them because it's kind of like a golf cart community. Also, when it comes to water sports, and we're gonna get into that a little bit more later on in the video, bring your water sports gear because there are areas at Camp Hatters where you can actually do a small boat launch and we'll take you there right now. Now, Camp Hatters is broken up into two spots. One side is the ocean side, this is the sound side. In order to get to the sound side, you have to cross a roadway, which is oftentimes quite busy. We'll get to the sandbox area lately, but as you can see, the, uh, ocean, uh, the, um, the sound side, in my opinion, just as nice as the ocean side. So there's no real big difference when it comes to quality, but you get this fantastic view, you know, right from the back of your uh, RV, which you do not get at the ocean side, which makes this, in my opinion, pretty, uh, pretty nice. If you like the views kind of thing. I call this area the giant sandbox because that's what it is in my opinion, the giant sandbox. But right next door is this little uh, area where this is your boat launch area. It's not the greatest. You wanna like launch a kayak, fantastic. But if you wanna launch like, you know, another type of boat, getting it down there, eh, maybe a bit of a struggle.
That's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.